Hey everyone, DeepSeek R1 has been causing quite a buzz in LLM sessions lately. Today, I'm going to use MGX to have it create a detailed resume for DeepSeek R1. Haha. <laughs> and of course, it's going to be in its first person perspective, DSR1. I didn't prepare any info on DSR1 myself, but as you can see, I gave MGX's data analysis agent, David, quite a few tasks. Not just gathering information about it, but also converting that info into a format that works for a resume. Sounds pretty cool, right? I have no idea how complicated the process would be if I had to do it manually, but luckily we can just let MGX take a shot at it. Now, David is gathering and summarizing the information. One thing to note is that in the prompt, we clearly specified that David should save the research as a file and check the data for completeness. So Mike also assigned him the corresponding task. Now, on the right side of the editor, you can see the JSON file being generated in real time. Once the data is processed, Alex handles the coding. And here's a little trick I want to share. After a task is completed, you can click on version below. MGX offers version control. You can keep developing multiple page styles using the same data by remixing past data processing sessions. These development versions run in parallel, each one only inheriting from the node when the data processing was finished. On top of that, if you're not sure what style to choose for your web page, a great place to start is by picking the right template from AppWorld. I chose a template and remixed it. In the prompt, I asked to develop it in the style of the selected template. This makes it super easy to quickly test and confirm the page style. We've used MGX to extract the data and had the agent team develop it in a few different styles. Now let's see how we can fine tune the page details even further. Right now, the web page doesn't display an avatar. We can quickly locate the avatar box using inspect and upload our own avatar file. Similarly, inspect can be used to specify a block of text elements to change page effects, such as when we add a typewriter effect. You can definitely use Inspect more often to fine-tune the page details and make it look even better. However, if you have some technical background, you can take it a step further. Optimize your web pages using a designated code repository for a more customized experience. Nice work. This is a huge boost in efficiency. Now, I'm going to try making a small tweak to the current mouse effect. Let's keep remixing and see what we can come up with. Beyond that, I did two more rounds of interactions using the prompt example shown in the video. And I ended up with a smooth mouse over effect. Alex is great at organizing content into well-structured web pages. Does that spark any ideas for you? Whether it's an official website, a blog, or a solution showcase, Alex can quickly turn your knowledge into a polished web presentation. Give MGX a try and build your ideal web page. Thanks for watching. We've got plenty more great videos. Don't forget to subscribe.